These are the sights and sounds from the neighborhood of Colombia and Zenith in Takrade, where Josephine Payne Mensa lives and operated her shop respectively. And this is how the hardcore believers of her pregnancy received the police investigative report. Wearing their red bands, they refuted the reports and went ahead to invoke cases on those behind it. So this is Colombia, and I'm basically in front of uh, the house of Josephine Payne Mensa, who happens to be the lady at the center of this whole uh, alleged kidnapping case, with a police uh, report confirming the regional minister's earlier statement that the pregnancy was fake. This is the reaction of residents here uh, in Colombia, those staying in the house and those staying around. They say they reject the police's uh, findings and uh, we just want to take some of their uh, comments. Uh, Chief, um, how well do you know this lady? She's in the same compound with me. You live in the same compound? Yes. And uh, are you aware that she's pregnant? I'm surprised I'm hearing this news because if actually she's not pregnant, I'm wondering how she could manage to take the pregnancy from step one a month after the other, after the other till nine months. Even to ten months that the pregnancy, everybody has seen that she's pregnant. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised to hear this news. Somebody, I'm in the same compound. She even wears sneaker to wash in the compound. If there is no pregnancy, I believe whatever clothing she should wear in, should even indicate that she's not pregnant. I'm surprised. I'm really, I'm really astonished to hear this particular thing. So, 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 what do you have to say to the police uh, I mean, report? I, 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 that is what I'm saying I'm surprised because if the leaders of this particular country believe they are there to protect us, they should actually bring out the truth and stop this fake news they are bringing out. Because this, what they are bringing out, I don't understand. Police for of law chain there. The word kidnap is what they are protecting. They should not say that the girl wasn't pregnant. The word kidnap is what they are protecting. We understand. But we get the girl no anyum. From here, where I'm standing, to the end, to that place, you know, everybody knows that the girl was pregnant. And I don't know, I don't know. Me, me to me, me to me, what, what, what will come to a person's mind, say, for good nine months. I was just reading a police report, uh, and they were saying, get in by a hospital on the October last year. Or if it is October last year, how many months now? Is it since that October last year, no? Nukuna in the Sabbath, 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 Nukuna Iron and Daya, Nukuna Iron and Daya, Ganuma Oyama. Oh, so please, spare us. We understand the police. They are just protecting the word kidnap. So that's all. So, what I, what, what I want to say in conclusion is I want to advise every man when your wife tells you I'm pregnant, every stage, take pictures of it. Every stage, take pictures of it. Post it everywhere for everybody to see because. You cannot accept this from the Ranger Mr. How do you know Josephine? Okay, Josephine is my friend and we are all in the same house. And she's my friend. That's what I can say. Did you see her throughout her pregnancy? Yes, please. Uh, now the police is confirming what the regional minister said that her pregnancy was fake. Uh, do you take such a, I mean, a report? 
Yes, I know that the, the lady was uh, expecting baby. And I even have evidence. I have her pic on my phone that shows that she's having baby. Yes. Do you have it here? Yes, I please. It. Yes, I can show it to you. Show, show it to us. We want to see her. her. So she, she tells me she's going to show me a picture of uh, the lady being pregnant. I have one of the co to actually take me to her door. I mean, the very door that uh, she used to go to her room. Okay, so, so I'm being told that there's a very room that uh, she used to, I mean, uh, live before she moved to join the mother. Uh, you, you, you can, if you can tell me, I mean, what, what do you see here? Okay, I, I have been here um, because she's my friend. So me that my mom passed away. And when I come, then I come and visit her room. Her room. So this is her room. The girl is pregnant, we are all aware. The girl is pregnant. We all come to the back of the house every day to see her. But the new statement is misleading. We can't take it anymore. Instead of you to console the family and make sure you give them some something, you, you are rather accusing them. You are rather giving, giving them psychological pain. Why should you have to do that? Why do you have to do that? Someone who already has a child about to deliver, how can you accuse that person of doing that? This is unfair from the minister. Me, I know the woman. She was actually pregnant. But as to how the pregnancy went out, I can't tell. We are waiting for the investigation of the police. Let's keep quiet and listen to what they'll come out with. Maybe it was through some other means that the, uh, the pregnancy went out. We can't tell. But she was pregnant. She used to come to my wife here to fetch f uh, fire, fire. So me, I know she's pregnant. But... How, as to how they say she was not pregnant, it's over to them. She has to bring some proof. She should get some uh, proof, like where she attends her hospital or something. She should bring those papers and prove to the people that she was actually pregnant. That is all my view is. So let us not argue over this. In our attempt to get better particulars or clarification on this new police report that is actually causing a lot of confusion as to whether this Josephine Mensah was truly pregnant or not, we tried to talk to administrators over here at the Takrade Hospital, also referred to as the European Hospital, but unfortunately, they have turned down our request for an interview on these issues. But residents across the metropolis have also been having a bite on this police report that is basically discounting the pregnancy status of Josephine Penny Mensah. How can a lady who is pregnant, who is not pregnant, claim she is pregnant? So me, I don't believe in the report being, what do you call it, uh, given by the police and uh, that of the regional minister. As my brother, the, the lady was pregnant. So she, if she, she wasn't, how, how can she come out and say that she was pregnant? So these things going on, I think thorough investigation should be conducted. Uh, I think an, another investigation should be, even if experts. Will be, will, will, be, will be, what do you call it, independent investigation will be conducted. I think that would be best. I, I, I don't side with uh, the police and the regional minister. I don't believe anything that they are saying. Uh, that's my take on it. Uh, I, I don't, but I don't, believe, I don't believe anything they say. But uh, looking at uh, what happened with the, was it the four girls or the, uh, the information that came out, the inconsistencies in the information, with what they say, I don't believe anything. Yeah, I don't believe anything from them. Me did do on you, sir. Sunday, be a lie, a baby, send me a no see. On you, sir. Now, I'm Mr. Picture and Moon or Facebook and Moon Don, you're not at a Ben Bano. On you, you try no shadow on you, sir. I'm much more busy than Pon on you, sir. Obviously, no work a day on you, sir. And now, I won't move some no so draws and see nine of women in rats one. Now, over to watch her at the co pot here or how one. So for residents and neighbors over here in Colombia, their position is that they are never ever going to actually accept this police investigative report concerning the pregnancy status of Josephine Payne Mensah. For City News, I'm Akosia Jenim. Takrad.